Okay. We are in the fifth hour of the Friday's guest star confirmation hearings. It's very close to air, and as of now, the cast has yet to confirm David L. Lander and Michael McKeon as this week's guest stars. And from my vantage point, it doesn't look good for the two hopefuls. I believe the hearings are about to reconvene. Quiet, please. May we have quiet? Mark, I believe you have the next question. <coughs> Gentlemen, could you please tell us your qualifications for being guest stars on Friday? Yes, sir. I'd like to read a prepared statement of the record, if I could. We, David L. Lander and Michael McKeon, have for the past several seasons been known as Lenny and Squiggy on the hit TV series Laverne and Shirley. Thank you. That's a qualification. Who is a qualification? It's an illumination. Uh, which one of you is the man called Squiggy? Uh, I believe I can help you there, sir. I play the role of Squiggy on the uh, television show. Uh, Laverne and Shirley, but I would rather you uh, refer to me from now on as David L. Lander. Thank you very much. All right, uh, Mr. L. Lander, are you aware that Fridays is a non-prime time, live, late-night television show? Yes, sir, I am. Uh-huh. Melanie? Yes, Mr. McKean. Yes, ma'am. Can you tell this committee who plays the character Dick? Dick? Uh, <laughs> Melanie Chartoff. Oh. And, uh, Mr. Lander, can you tell us who plays the nutty and crazy character, the pharmacist on the show? Melanie Chardoff. Oh. <laughs> and who anchors the Friday edition? Chevy Chardoff. Uh, gentlemen, no. gentlemen, can you name one single cast member in this entire group? Melanie Chardoff. Uh, well, oh, that's Melanie Chardoff. <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen, you've been asked to be <laughs> guest stars on Fridays, and yet you come here from a primetime show knowing nothing about our show or cast. Really? Now, Mr. L. Lander, I would... I uh, personally find it very difficult at this point to vote for your confirmation. Wait a minute, wait a minute. This is a travesty, sir. I mean, you people think you're so smart because you're on a late-night television show. Well, let me tell you something. Straight from 8.30 p.m., nobody, but nobody, owns a monopoly on satire, political or otherwise, including yourself, Mr. Chardoff. <laughs> say this for you boys. You certainly are thorough. Can't be too careful, sir. But you know, I, I really can't believe I'm in any danger here in the, in the Oval Office. <laughs> now! <laughs> well, you boys, go ahead and go on about whatever it is you're gonna do. I'm gonna work on my proposals for cutting the federal budget. Yes, sir. Yes. You do just that, all sir. Right. Just pretend like we're not oh, here, all right? Yes. Not here. Oh, yes. Breaker, Breaker, this is Silver Fox. Do you read me over? Uh, yes, I hear you loud and clear. This is, uh, this is the uh, Breaker, Breaker himself, Silver Fox, coming in loud and clear. Over. Any sign of intruders on your perimeter there, Breaker? Over. Uh, negative, Silver Fox. It looks all pretty good from where I'm sitting up here. Over. Roger, Breaker, over now. Hello. Ah! Gee, what the hell was that? Just the intercom. Now take it easy. Well, you should have that thing lowered. You, you, you could give a person a heart attack. Breaker, breaker, what's the trouble there? What's the trouble there? You won't oh. believe it. They won't believe it. It's this damned intercom, Silver Fox. Took 10 years off my life. <laughs> Hear that? That's it. There it goes again. You forgot to say over. Uh, over? Yes, Jim, what is it? The maid is here with your lunch, Mr. President. Oh, well, good. Send her in. Hey! Hey! 
Please, baby. Yeah, all right, melt, baby. I got her covered. All right. Guide her down, then. Guide her down easy. That's good. Now, what the hell do you think you're doing? Oh, you can't tell. You can't tell, sir. Huh? Not so fast. Those beans may be poison. Taste them, Frank. Enjoy yourself, sir. Well, thank you. It's about time I got some. Just a minute. All right, well. All right, what's the matter? What's the matter, big fella? Come on, big fella. Cough it up like a fur ball. Come on now. Come Call on. a doctor. <coughs> Call an ambulance. I've been poisoned. I've been poisoned. Ah, that's my boy. Feel better now? Tasted like that linguine we had last night. Uh-huh. What did I tell you about eating spicy foods? You're right, Breaker. Of when am I going to land listening to the ambulance. You just scared me half to death. That's the least we can do, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Ronnie, dear, I... Ah! Oh! So it's you! The lady in red, eh? Ah! Next! You get up off my mommy. You get up off my mommy now. All right, put her up here. Well, I'm going to What do you think you're doing here? Your mommy, huh? Uh -huh. Get a load of this, Mr. President. She was packing a piece. <laughs> Just a tiny little piece. No, it's All right, now, who are you working for, huh? Who are you working for? Talk that doesn't. Not you, her. No. Talk. Jim, send up my private security agents from California. Security? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Mr. President, what? you can't get rid of us. Well, who's going to protect you from the um, subversives, the commies, the, the weirdos, the pinkos, the women? What's the word, Big Daddy? We got a deal. You betcha. All right, huh? Wait, hey, what? that's a neat helmet. Can I try it on? Mr. President, sir. <laughs> Mr. President, uh, I wouldn't hire these people. I mean, this man is obviously a, a barbarian. Oh. <laughs> well, then again, so was Attila, and he was a hell of a hun. Yeah. Let's go see if George Bush wants to play. Oh, yeah. How do you do? I'm Nancy Reagan. <laughs> hey, right on. Right. Hey, Vinny. Oh, yeah. No, thank you. Thanks for getting rid of those square guys. Yeah, don't worry, Ronnie. We'll protect you. Greetings, everyone. I'm Rona Barrett. Tonight, the question on everybody's lips in Tinseltown is, what will Laverne and Shirley's own adorable Lenny and Squiggy do next? Coincidentally, tonight, my guests are none other than that same knucklehead duo, <laughs> Mike McKean and Dave Landa, who will tell me in an exclusive interview every detail of what they've been up to. Welcome, boys. Thank now, you. tell me about that new pilot. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, uh, we're very excited about yeah. it. We just finished a pilot, Rona, that we believe is probably our best work mm -hmm. today, I, so. I guess we'd have to say. I mean, uh, and it's not just us, the, the network is very high on it. Yeah. They like it. No, it's just very high. <laughs> They're a funny bunch. You know? That's, that, that was a joke, that actually, was, that was cut from the, the, the pilot, uh, you know. Yeah, that got was cut. originally in, in yeah. the program. Yeah. But we still have a lot of funny jokes in there. Going I for mean, it now, this though. show has all the elements yeah. of a great yeah. uh, situation comedy. It's based on a hit movie, it's got running characters, it's got zany gags. Yeah, uh, yeah plots. Like the, the, there's one plot. Yeah, oh, where the, 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 his mother, the mother comes in from out of town on a visit, you know. Something. Well, well, hasn't that been done before? Yeah. Oh, yeah, but it has. this is sort of a different, a sort of different angle. Well, it, it's, you, well then, sort of, without further ado, let's have a look-see, shall we? Like I think this, right. our mother thing has like a whole... No,
Carl. Hey, 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 you okay, Ratso? <laughs> oh, no, I'm not okay, Joe. We gotta get to Miami. This city's too cold for me, Joe. <laughs> well, we better tidy up the joint. My little mother is coming by. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna make her proud of you, boy. I sure am. Yeah, all right, now I'll get this on to eat it first. This messy place. Joe Buck, Joe Buck, I thought this was your week to go shoplifting. I did. Oh, we must have got ripped off again. Oh, damn. Oh, no, no, what is my mother doing here so early? I mean, I haven't even had time to sweep out the toilet bowl. Oh, uh, give her. And the place is a mess, Ma, but come on in and be... Mr. Beasley! Give glass of thanks to the great creator who's good, great, I'm one heck of a god. Make that a double order, Mr. Beasley. Hey, Russell, who in the corn hill is that? Oh, it's the Jesus freak from next door, Joe. No, I'm a religious nut. Well, same difference, nut. you know what I mean? Now, Mr. Beasley, uh, what, what are you doing here? <laughs> Mr. Beasley, please. What? Mr. Beasley, really, we don't have time for this. I mean, my mother's coming in from out of town. Would you please get out of here? Oh, well, I'll get it, I'll get it, Russell. Yeah, yeah, get it, <laughs> Hey, it's Bill Hall, the hooker. Uh, here in a convention. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We gotta use your place my floor caved in. Oh, okay. Velma the hooker. Val, 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 what are you doing here? I'm working. What do you mean you're working? You can't work. My little mother is coming in from out of town. Your mother? You got a mother? What a world is she, human? No, she was hatched. <laughs> oh, that's very funny. Make a joke about my little mother. Yo, yo, yeah, yeah. You look fine. You look fine. Don't worry about it. Right. Shape up, everybody, would you please? This my mother. I don't want to make a bad impression. Oh, Ma, I'm so. I'm crazy. I'm out of my mind, and I just moved in down the hall. Wanna come over for some cold turkey? I can... Welcome to the neighborhood. Well, well, look what we got here. We got a hooker in the corner, we got a junkie on the floor, and we got a Jesus freak on his knees. A nut. Ah, a nut. Thank you. Well, now, how am I going to explain this to my mother? Hey, Joe, you, 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 you take, it, take it easy, boy. Take it easy. Now, listen, everybody. I'm talking at you. <coughs> now, I know you're just a bunch of degenerate low lives, but don't you have any respect for Ratso's mama? That's Rico's mama. Ma, Rico's mama? <laughs> We didn't realize. Mm, it's all right, Val. You're on a convention. That's have, all. have a good time in the city, sir. <laughs> Sorry, Rats. Uh, why don't you try alcohol? It might clean you up a bit, you know. Remember, the words of our yeah. Lord, do sure. whatever you want and hurt as many people as possible. Uh -huh. You watch them knees on them stairs, old boy. Oh, boy, huh? Can't believe it. Some neighborhood. Some day, huh? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, you can't. That's why now. <clears throat> opinion upon seeing your pilot for the first time with us. My, well, I guess that says it all. This is Rona Barrett from Hollywood saying, keep thinking the good thoughts.